I wanted to do something different with my groups this year and I was school was getting ready to start and I still didn't know. I also have a son at home. He came across a, a video on code.org that has Mark Zuckerberg in it and Bill Gates and talking about coding and even the basketball player Bosch, he's in it and he learns to code. And after watching that video, it just something clicked in me that these kids are missing a great opportunity because this is their world. They live in a digital world. They don't live in our world where everything's on paper and that's how we learn. We looked up in dictionaries. They do online. They don't, they don't sit with books and look up every single thing. And so in order to meet their needs in their world that they're just digital natives. They don't know anything else and it's only going to grow from here. When they come in, they log on to Edmodo, they see their assignment, they click on the link and they go to Tinker and they do the lesson that was assigned to them. Um, different lessons went through from basic adding a character to adding motion to the character, um, sound, just various things that each lesson went through. We had scenes, we had actors, we had movements, we had codes to help them move. The way I explained it to the kids is everything you do in a computer, somebody else has told that object, when that button is pushed, this is what happens. And just like on a video game, when the up button is pushed, it has already been coded in that that character will jump and they are kind of seeing the backgrounds of computers and programs and games so that they know that this is not like rocket science. They can do this. That's a little bit new for me too, a whole lot new for me because I've had to teach myself and spend some nights playing around with it. But um, that's what we've been focusing on is the computer coding. This kind of takes behind the scenes and those programs are already coded into those little logic pieces they put over there. So they're just, they're still at the beginning stages, but I think that they, they like it and they, they want to learn more. Eventually, we're going to work with um, their classroom teachers in third and fourth grade, and we're going to use it as part of our PBL. And when they're talking about, say, I know that Miss Payne in fourth grade is doing life cycles. Well, they're going to create an, um, a coding project in Tinker of the animal they chose with the life cycle so that they can demonstrate their learning through their coding. It really helps in math and reading because you see this big project at the end but you didn't see all the little things that go into it behind the scene, even with science. You know with math they have this word problem and it has several steps to it to get to the answer and that's essentially the same as what they're learning with coding. There are several steps to get to this big outcome. I want to make sure that they, when they enter our world that they have a level playing field, that they have some background knowledge to say, hey, I can do that too. And I want them to be successful. I want them to be leaders in technology. And not all of them are going to grow up and be pro computer programmers or coders, but they'll have that basic knowledge of, oh, I know how to do that. That's not that big of a deal. And I think Mark Zuckerberg had made um, a comment that in 15 years from now, we'll wonder why we didn't teach this sooner. It'll be like reading and writing. 